What's up guys? Welcome back to our Statue Collector's channel. Last week I did a room tour of my gallery, so I hope you guys enjoy that. This week though, I will be doing something different. I got here a couple of gadgets and products that will maintain and keep your statue looking fresh. All right guys, so as you know, cleaning your statue can be pain in the ass and time consuming. And some of these products can really help your life a lot easier. Now you can find most of these online. And this particular product is made just for raisins and polystones. Now I bought most of these products from Dojo store. So if you live in Bangkok and too lazy to go buy them, like myself, then you can just go buy them there. Now, all right, so I have a couple of cloth. I got a makeup brush. Magic Clean, Potter Fix, and Jab Studio Spray. So I'm gonna show you what they do and how to use them. All right, most of you are probably using some type of brush to dust your statues. I recommend you using a good to high quality makeup brush, which you can find online or in the department store. You want to pick the soft, fine brush because they won't scratch the paint off. Uh, I picked this one up for about $30. Maybe even pick up different sizes as well, so you can get into the smaller spots. Okay, the pros of brushing is that it's quick and it's easy, but the con is that the dust will just fly out everywhere and it's hard to control. You probably end up having to use a damp towel to clean it off after. All right, and depending on the size of your room, it probably is a good idea to have an air purifier inside your display room. I haven't got mine yet, but I'm planning on having four inside my gallery. All right, next up is Magic Clean. It's a green blob that is used to clean keyboards with. You can find them easily on online store. This costs between one to two dollars only. Now, it described as high technology, multi-purpose cleaning compound. So instead of using brushes, you can actually use this to clean off dirt and dust on your statues. It's pretty quick and easy to use, and you can use it multiple times until it turns black. Ah, here we go. Now, if you leave it in a hot cabinet for too long, it will melt into liquid form. So you can revive it by using a plastic box or Tupperware. Just throw it in there, close the lid and shake it until it's back into the blob form. Okay, so to use it, you just apply onto each part and press and the dust and dirt will stick to it. You just keep applying to different spots until you are satisfied with it. All right, the pros about it is that it can get into the tightest spots such as hair or you know, certain part of the base it's also cheap and easy to use. But the con is that it can leave some gooey mess behind, which you have to go back and clean it from time to time. All right, powder fix is like a Play-Doh or glue pads. It's used for tools, webcam, small light box, and anything small. You can find it in any hardware store or online. This one can hold up to three kilogram on a single pad and it costs around $3. Okay, this product is good to have around just in case. It gives like an extra grip or loose key for metal peg that you feel unstable. Uh, instead of having to use glue or other adhesive, this is much easier way. So what you do is you use only a little bit of it. Like here, I pulled off a square and you just make it into a strand. Not too thick, not too thin. Okay, like this is fine. And then you just wrap it around the parts that you want it to have some more grip. 
Okay, that's it. Make sure you hide it. Okay, I might have used a little bit too much over here. It's supposed to be like uh, thinning like in the back, but we'll just try it out. Okay, push it in all the way. It's gonna act like an adhesive. There we go. Now it's really stable and it won't go anywhere. The pro of this is it's cheap and it's strong and it leaves no mess. Um, the cons, I don't, I don't find any yet, so no cons. Alright, so this is Jab Studio Spray. It's a premium gloss made to protect, um, let's see, paint, PVC, ABS, resin, polystone, and vinyl. This product is invented by a Thai company which took them over a year to succeed and a bottle costs around $15. It's basically give you an extra layer of protection for your statue. All right, so this is what you do. First, you shake it, not too much, and then find yourself a, a really soft microfiber cloth or pads. I have the pads here, so I'm going to spray it onto the pad. I'm gonna demonstrate right here on this helmet. I'm gonna leave uh, one half originally, like the way it is, and the other one doing this. All right, I'm just gonna apply it onto this side. You can use the cloth as well if you don't have the pads, just the same cloth. And then after you apply it, then you use another clean cloth. Just go over it, make sure it gets inside and spread out evenly. Can you tell the difference? It's original. And after I apply the spray. All right, let me do the rest of it. Clean it off, rub it in. And it's probably a good idea if you uh, clean the statue off before you start doing this. So there's not any dirt just stuck in certain places. All right. So, yep. I don't know, man, but to me, the gold seemed to uh, pop out more and just give it more gloss. Like, if you compare it to the body here. All right, let's try to do it with the body. I will show you um, the before and after. So, let's get it. and I will show you the after.
Okay, a bottle can last you a while and you only need to apply it every three months or so. The cool thing about it is though, that not only that it protects your statue, but dust don't stick to it as well. So you don't have to worry about cleaning up for a while, but uh, they, all, they will all just fall down to the base. That's why you have to clean up mostly. So the pro is that it's reasonable price and a bottle will last you for a while. It makes the statue look so much better than new for a long time. Now, the con is that it will require a lot of time of carrying and applying to the single statue. So that's really up to your interest in details. All right, one thing I forgot to mention, do not use this on any kind of fabric or silicone. All right, man, that's it for the video. Uh, I hope this will help some of you guys out. Let me know if you have done any of what I mentioned in the video or you have other kind of tricks you wanna share. Please feel free to leave them down in the comment. And again, thank you for watching and see you guys on the next video. Peace.